they threatened me they told me you are fit for nothing fellow and i was totally depressed to be very frank i said i am going and dying today dark stories i, I was attempted at least a dozen times i was to be killed he dad was to be killed a couple of times couple at of least times. a dozen times that doesn't always times. in varangal always in varangal parents have their own choices whatever they didn't do in their life they want to rub that on their children is what i feel not everyone have seen my journey from the beginning right literally from the day i left my job and i came into youtube or passion you know my whole story here is reeman kotaru the creator but iska creator reeman kotaru's creator is with me right here we are going to dig into his life because uh, all these days you might have seen him in my channel very randomly but we, we've never done a proper video about my dad's life i keep talking about so much of investments about general guidance in life like my total guidance whatever i got till now two people in my life really changed me one of that person is definitely my dad and second as you guys know pooja this is going to be you can call it a podcast about my dad's life i'm going to ask him some questions about his entire life how we started from zero till here you know the way he motivates everyone there are a lot of people who come to him to learn about life or if they need any suggestions whether it's a billionaire he has some billionaire friends as well they also take suggestions from him if they need some strength and motivation all that they reach out to my dad so i've seen all that he's going to provide some insights about his life that might help you people also achieve some things in your life and also feel happy about where you are currently right because it is very important in this generation you people need motivation more than anything else so here is my dad hi everybody here's the exciting and adventurous journey of my dad from the start of the day you start from literally your two years old because you are your story and my story is like very basic we started from maybe we have stories from intermediate or 10th class but dad's story begins literally at two years of age mm. it's in my nanama told me just used to play around in these quarters we used to stay in a quarters because my dad was a railway employee he was just a clerk and he was hardly drawing some 300 rupees sir and now when i purchase one tablet strip it is 300 rupees <laughs> so there's a lot of inflation that's right it. now cappuccino is 280 rupees <laughs> <laughs> it's not like uh, these kids you know there's they are called uh, what kids millennium kids and we were like street dogs and uh, these people you know they are like uh, pet dogs <laughs> in fact <laughs> but let me start the street uh, dogs have more experience we experience. need to be taught how to handle life and all that these people learn it from experiences experience. not just my dad even your parents are like that and even i studied in the sentence uh, tarnaka school the sentence tarnaka school uh, it's a co education that time one yeah. thing about sentence tarnaka is there even now it is a girl school right now, now but yeah. that time it was a co education so, and the thing is yeah. surprising thing is my dad's teacher taught my sister as well because my sister is also from the same school <laughs> same tarnaka <laughs> sentence one day from malkajiri he took an rtc bus at 2 years of age na do kado around 3 4 around 3 or 4 years of age uh-huh. he took a rtc bus he doesn't know obviously where he went he just sat because it was fancy people asked him where I, where do you want to go and then he was not able to answer <laughs> literally they had to take him to the police station that time yeah. all the stories my nanama told me <laughs> you know it is like uh, those days we were never protected my dad used to leave uh, house morning 8 o'clock and he used to return only night 8 o'clock and all the day we were like street dogs going playing goti gilli danda cricket football he had to be taken to the police station and it seems the cop asked him what is your parents name what is your dad's name and what is your mom's name he answered in a very funny way as saying uh, my mom's name is mummy and my dad's name is papa <laughs> 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 and after that i don't know what happened but somehow who came to the police station my uh, father's brother he was a police officer at that time so he could uh, call all all these police stations and all somehow they were located and my uncle my dad and mom uh, uncle they came and they just picked this is somehow you know that uh, just childhood. says how it was that time two and a half to three years of age he went to the police station in a bus we can't <laughs> even imagine doing that now imagine naisha going out we don't even let her going out through this door here 
there. Even if me and Pooja doesn't see her down for 10 minutes, we are like worried. But these people, like you see that hardcore nature that time, it's all changed now. We become very soft, I feel. I think that is to do also with the upbringing of parents. How my Nanama brought him up compared to how my dad and mom brought me up in my life. Compared to me and Pooja bringing Naisha up in life. It's getting softer and softer is what I feel. Even swimming and even today just now I took Naisha to swimming and all. That I learned then only when I was very small, I just jumped into some river. I am not swimming now. And I am thinking about having a coach, a swimming coach I mean this summer. And dad learned from okay. jumping into the pool directly. Uh, no pool. We were just jumping into some lake, a Safilvada lake. Sometimes in big well and all we used to jump. But how much of guidance did you get from your dad and your mom? Uh, in fact, uh, to be very frank, there is no mentor at all. My grandfather used to just uh, show us newspapers. Paper, Deccan Chronicle used to be that time. Like in your life, whatever you learnt, did it come by experience or did your dad, like you teach me, do investments, don't do this, this is wrong, this is right. Like this, who taught you things in your life that take up the studies, go to pharmacy or whatever you did in your life mm. about money or about improving your life. Okay. Who taught you all these things? During studies, to be very frank, absolutely zero. We were always backbenchers. I studied one school called St. Thomas SPG. There is no good teaching or coaching something like that but most of the time we are in the playground we used to always play there play there play there studies zero 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 but somehow managed to come out of the school with the very small marks like even dad and all nobody used to ask what are you doing or how are you studying nothing we were just let free like that like so your dad was into railways i never seen yeah, him because I mean, by the time I grew up like I was, when I was two years old or something, he passed yeah. away, my tate. Yeah. yeah, I think there was not much of guidance from your dad to you. Yeah, exactly. There's not much of guidance from anybody. But from anyone. Yeah. Anyone, yeah. But the only thing is, uh, it's a God's gift that uh, I always used to keep my eyes and ears open. Always, always, right from my childhood. And I used to observe and uh, pick up you know good and bad from the society and all my uncle he was a police officer as i told you he just told me only one thing whatever you do whatever you have money whatever you save right from your childhood just keep on investing in some other other area education wise okay i was into sports and all and uh, i mean uh, not even an average student he was below average student uh, when he started just passed that up to ninth standard tenth is a turning point that's what everybody says start saying tenth gaya to zindagi gaya khatam ho jayega and all some tuitions have taken the tenth standard i have started some concentration i left all my sports right from my childhood i have some leadership qualities like i was monitored right from first class to tenth ninth standard i became vice president of spg school then i became president of spg school and all those things was there because of maybe personality or some leadership quality. Huh, that is one thing. Wherever yeah. he went, he would lead. Like he would lead people. Everyone would, would look up to him. Not even that time. Now also I see since like almost 15-20 years. Whatever I've seen, he has that leadership qualities. Whenever he stands somewhere or meets someone, he'll take the lead. He'll take initiative. most of the attention. He'll take the initiative. Even in our colonies or in, right now even in Malkajgiri. Wherever he is there, I mean the, there's a kind of energy circle I think. But everyone look up to him. They come, they share their problems. I don't know why but everyone comes up to dad only. Yeah. <laughs> Not only colony but even Families, in my family, yeah. relationships friends no one comes to me <laughs> no one comes to any other family members but they come call Ashok I need help I don't know that maybe that is inbuilt or something uh, I was always into activities like you know, maintaining the classroom uh, uh, teachers they used to always call me and say take care of these people so I used to just lead them but maybe that has uh, and did you like doing that like yeah. leading people that is the only thing I used to like, you know, like I wanted to always dominate and <laughs> take care of people and maintain them. Uh, leadership qualities are very, very important. That's what I imbibed during my childhood hmm. and it has come up uh, almost uh, every time, even today. In 10th standard, you know, I can tell you something like, you know, I studied very well because I need to clear the 10th, second class, yeah, 50 to 60 percent is second class that time. My real focus started on studies uh, in intermediate. Almost uh, we had just three rooms that time so I used to see the sun in the east and uh, when I used to complete I seen the sunset also it used to be night. But uh, why did this change happen all of a sudden till 10th class you did not study much? Yeah I realized that uh, you know just uh, going and playing and uh, doing only these things will not help so there was always elders say, stating that if you don't study you need to go and work in the railway as a coolie. 
So it is better you study now or else you will regret your life. They used to just push me. Sadhukara. Then I had that, uh, you know, I need to do MBBS. Mm. My goal was MBBS, MBBS. Some of my classmates from 10th also, um, MBBS ko jayega. Like God has given another area where uh, in Kakati University, I got admission into uh, B pharmacy in that uh, time. Kakati University, Varangal. That's where he did his uh, bachelor's. Pharmacy. When did this Arjun Reddy thing started? Like he was a rebel. I mean, Bachpan is like, he is like that by blood, by nature. But I think I heard a lot of stories from his friends that he was like typical proper Arjun Reddy. Why did you suddenly become rebellious in college or even before that you were like that? When, I, when we got B pharmacy, we have all gone to Kakati University Warangal. But it was initial stages, we were in the fourth or fifth batch. But there were hardly any funds. When we went there, after clearing this exam, uh, entrance exam, we hardly found any lecturer there. We had uh, only three or two rooms, horrible condition, there's no blackbird. We were totally say, disappointed and uh, we started strikes and uh, agitations and all. They started from that time. There. Myself, Arjun Reddy, one other, one, another friend is there. Then Ram no, there is one friend actually Arjun Reddy, Arjun but Reddy he is not friend. like Arjun no, Reddy. No, he's very decent. <laughs> he's very decent and very <laughs> silent, but okay. his name was Arjun Reddy. But Ashok Kumar was actually Arjun Reddy in the movie, what you see, animal, not even Arjun Reddy, animal. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally innocence, there's no mental... No, lack of knowledge, lack of guidance that time. Now if I want to do something like that, even if I want to do smallest things, he'll guide me, don't do that, that's wrong, you shouldn't be like that. But for him, no one was there to tell him, so out of innocence, he was very wild and very rebellious. I did not want to do all those things by myself. It just happened randomly. There is no uh, control over me. My parents were in Hyderabad, I was in Warangal. I was always with my friends in hostel and I was always go roaming around. We were always doing all nonsense because there is no studies, no lecturers, no classrooms, nothing. For one, two years we suffered a lot. We made lots of agitations. Actually, it is just four years and half year training for pharmacy, but we have completed five plus half. We lost almost one year in the strikes and the agitations and all. During those times we were into politics also. Then there were college all. politics and he was leading all this. Yeah, we were leading. Actually we, the, we were a group like four or five members. We were always top. We were always sitting back benches like Ram Reddy who is today billionaire. He has lots of companies and all in America. Arjun Reddy he was with Senator and all. He had 50, 100 acres in the America. And all. Like that another Chari is my classmate. He has around seven uh, labs in America, Texas and all. So we're all backbenchers. We hardly, we used to study, but we used to manage and uh, just pass, that's all. Did you people have a goal that time that I want to become this? Because I was very poor in studies. I had only one goal. I wanted to become a sales person in pharma, anywhere in the world, make some money, come back to India, settle down there, invest somewhere and grow. That's happened. That was our goal during that time when I was in pharmacy. So you wanted to be an employee, not business? No, no, no business. I yeah, wanted to be Because that time, especially, he, they didn't even have the luxury to think about starting a business. Because his dad, my tatya, was a railway employee. 300 salary. 300 rupees salary per month. <laughs> that's it. That's <laughs> their living. Thinking about establishing a business and all that, it's it, it, it didn't even come in their mind. First thing, because, see, I'm not saying if you don't have money, you can't start a business. Main thing is guidance is not there. Yeah. That, that push is not there. His dad would never have the courage to tell him to start a business because he can't back it. He wouldn't have that much of time to spend with my dad guidance was lacking so all these things were there where it did not help them to get into business all they could think is only get into a job and earn some living yeah just go for a job that's it whatever we thought my professors during send off party and all they used to ask are ashok kya karega em chestara then i used to tell only one thing em nenu okate pan chestha i will go and be a medical rep or some sales rep or surgical something because we are connected to pharmacy i, I will search for a job. I was not very confident uh, facing interviews and all because of zero knowledge. Very so personal. actual knowledge was not there to actual attend an interview? Not, no by heart, nothing like that. Just to pass the exam, we used to do something and just clear the exams. Our goals were always, you know, we used to sit in the evenings or something like that. Ramu uncle, he used to say, in my America jayega, pharmacy ho gaya, immediately I'll do MBA and jump to America. Chari uncle or Arjun uncle, they used to have that 
America jaye ga, America jaye ga. They called me, they applied uh, TOEFL exam or something like that. I was never interested in America and all. I wanted to do just some job here in Hyderabad or somewhere, that's all. And we cannot afford all that flight charges, everything and all. So they all left. I never tried also. I never attempted that uh, TOEFL exam also. I just applied only seeing in newspaper, applied for employment in different pharmacies and pharmaceuticals and all. Uh, finally, in my first interview, dressed everything. In Thai, that fellow from Kerala, some organics fellow asked me one question. He said, uh, uh, what is the blood tissue? Blood go tissue right? I just asked him. <laughs> in reverse, I asked him. This is blood. your first interview in your life. That is, my first, uh, that is my first interview in my life and I have no guidance, no training, nothing. I just walked in. That. So there was an interview call. How did you get the interview? Yeah, I applied through newspaper. Okay, newspaper ad. A newspaper ad, mm-hmm. yeah. So newspaper. they were asking for medical, medical sales. Rep or sales rep like that. Mm-hmm. Then I applied. So was in Hyderabad or? Hyderabad. Okay. Then Hyderabad, one hotel room they called. We were all around five ten. This was for which company? I don't remember, but Munnar, I think. Munnar Chemicals or something, a Kerala company. He asked me, you are a pharmacy graduate, can you tell me about uh, blood tissue? Then I said, what blood tissue? <laughs> there is no tissue and blood, it is just a blood, it is just <laughs> fluid, I told him. <laughs> then he said, okay, we will let you know, you go. <laughs> then when I came out and asked some of my friends, they told me it is a connecting tissue. <laughs> <laughs> but I never lost my confidence. Then I attempted second entry, another company, it's called Alchem. My senior was manager there. Mm-hmm. So I went to his house and I caught told him. Mm-hmm. I told him, 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 I told him. He could not come alone. So his manager was also there. Then I we, I went to that interview in Kachi Guda. That is then, second interview. That is second interview. Mm-hmm. After few, I think one or two months, I got on more interview. So surprisingly, this fellow was absconding. Kept the other manager <laughs> to take my interview and he left. Mm-hmm. So that fellow, he asked me a hundred questions. I could not answer one question. And he said, you can go, we will let you know. Mm-hmm. That's it. Second so, interview also gone. Second interview, toss gone. Mm-hmm. See, God will do something, you know, which we think, uh, which we blame God. Why are you not giving me a job and all? It is always for good, you know, what hap- whatever happens will always happen for good. Third entry was Sipla. At that time, top most. Even now, it's one of the top one most of companies. The, it is, you know, that time also, it was in top five. But God has given one opportunity. But here, what did I do is, I prepared myself. No mentor, nothing. I prepared myself. I went to Sipla office. I checked all the medicines. I have taken all the literatures, everything. Thoroughly studied about that particular company only. No pharmacy, no nothing. I studied about that catalogs, about the medicines. And also, I was an artist. There was one Astelin by name. Astelin inhaler. Even today it is very famous. Mm. So I drew one pigeon. Bottom I wrote a caption also. You can fly like a bird free with Astelin. That's what I mentioned there. And actually Astelin, that device, it looks like a pigeon. It's like, like a, bird a pigeon shape. also. It looks like a pigeon also. So mm. I drew that. I went for the first interview. First interview, one Raghavan was there from Madras. He came there. He was impressed with my presentation, with my collection. So this time, third interview, you went prepared. Prepared. First two interviews, you just gave just a shot. Just went. That's it. That built some experience and that built some confidence, confidence in you. Confidence also. Mm. That, that built some confidence. Mm. How to go, how to approach. And because I made two mistakes, I never prepared myself for that interview. So when so he realized his mistakes in the first two interviews. Yeah. Third interview, he did not want to do those mistakes, repeat those mistakes. So he went prepared. Prepared. That's important. Absolutely. Full preparation was there. Regarding that company, you ask who is the owner of that, who is the scientist of that, how many employees are there, what is the turnover, everything. And I attempted first interview. I got a, I was called to Bombay for second interview. Third interview was also there only. The topmost manager, they came. Then I, I pulled my trump card. Till then, I never showed that uh, art of mine that I showed to that zonal manager. See, sir, I prepared this one. He was highly impressed and told, oh, beautiful man, you have given a beautiful to our product manager. I'll call my product manager. He called his product manager in Bombay and he showed, then he was surprised. And that particular art was printed and distributed almost for three to five years throughout India. This I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, this is all, you know. This is new for me. <laughs> These things, you know, we never discussed. So, uh, preparation before going to an interview. This is what I learned. 
successful and one more important thing is because first two interviews were flop you shouldn't get demotivated no it happens it happens for a reason like you yeah. said only thing you can you can do is prepare yourself for the next develop yourself instead of feeling bad and depressed about the first bad things that happened that you lost in an interview mm. you failed in an exam or failed in an interview what he did was he had that strong me- mentality strong mindset that do interview gaya, but the next one i'm going to prepare myself and that's what gave him success in for that particular third interview then i was posted to nizamabad Nizam which was Abba. that where you had to go to one interview and there were so many good people yeah next very, one okay next, okay, next that's one. interesting mm-hmm. that's fantastic i went to nizamabad mm-hmm. that there was a posting Uh, Nizambad my first posting and the temperature was always extreme there either it will be uh, in winter it will be 7 degrees today it is not there but it used to be 7 degrees and highest it used to be 45 also 45 degrees plus sun i used to slog and even today i have that marks here i used to carry bag medicines everything i used to go on chetha go around villages everywhere i have seen hundreds of snakes in the forest uh, i worked very hard during those two two and a half years but i was never satisfied with just that so i was always doing some good things for the company i was always writing to the management of that this is good that is bad about the company doctors used to recommend and all suddenly i was invited to become a manager so they invited me to Uh, Bombay so that's like a promotion it's like a promotion all so those... you, did you see you he did not work for the money there no it's not just for to take the salary and go home no, no, and no. feed your family it's no, not that no, no. he actually worked like no. he thought of ideas he always approached the management no, no, no. if he had some new ideas he would go and throw it to the manager no, all right these things that. are important if you are working in a company don't just work for the sake of it don't just work so that you could order your swiggy or amazon don't do that you have to actually whatever you employed for work from within your employed so that you grow the company you actually grow it think of ideas to grow it that's how they will take notice of you and they will help you i mean they will promote you i know there's office politics and all that also but every time remember a star will always shine if you're really putting in your effort and really showing it that you're working for the company you will grow it's really worth it you know put your efforts and you always try to be working for yourself as well as your satisfaction and also for the company to grow you need to show some good results not only in production all but also some creativeness and uh, because I, my eyes and ears were always open in the market i used to always feed the company about the competitions going around and also feed them about uh, what are the uh, different uh, products coming into market that is one area so i am very proud to tell that even the people who trained me in cipla they were left behind they were 5 years or 3 years senior to me but i was just 2 two, two and a half years and they invited me to become a manager all those 5 years people they are still there itself they did not get a chance to attend the interview Because also most of them they just work for the sake of it that's it but dad worked for the company, company. like actually he wanted to provide some value to the company company then they invited me and the offer letter came posting was somewhere in maharashtra as a manager it's called field sales manager fsm to be very frank i was not sitting just for that before that itself from 2 years itself when i was in nizambad i started applying abroad also with this experience i thought i can jump to some abroad like gulf countries here i was making some 3000 there i can make some 30000 i was thinking for I, the same job for the for same, the same responsibilities type of job, same responsibility same job Uh, but tougher conditions abroad because some um, family and all that is different story but the success there started like i printed my uh, resume they call it resume or something i don't know we used to call bio data mm. ah yeah they used to call bio data these days we call resume but yeah. mm. so th- that bio data and all everybody used to apply with just a4 size paper and all but i printed one booklet small booklet like you know 6 inches by 6 inches some put everything right from my childhood what i achieved in sports ah, i was ncc candidate also oh yeah. about athletic and about uh, sports career dad had a very good sports career he is state athletic second in andhra pradesh that time it was andhra pradesh telangana and andhra yeah. pradesh was one state so entire andhra pradesh ap mein he was state second athletics javelin throw shot put shot put and uh, discus throw long jumps high jump there were 10 shields rolling shields for my school out of 10 shields eight shields i got that minister who devananda rao 
He was tourism minister. He was distributing. He told, "Arey, why you want to go back, man? All sheets are you sit here only." He told. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to carry all my brother, my father. We all oh, carry the, the shield. All the shields are there even now in our Nanamas house. <laughs> our rolling shield. Some we have returned. I don't have testing. a single shield till now. Not That a single shield. A sports area. No studies. Now always playing. Na, we so. don't have both. <laughs> <laughs> he made that resume, which was like a six by six inch booklet. Okay, It was okay, creative. Yeah. See, one. Once again, it's not like any other employee. He actually gave time for his resume, created a resume, printed it. He printed it. Two hundred. Total. Two hundred booklets. Two hundred booklets. Sir. Total two two hundred prints. Two hundred pages. No, no, no. Huh? Around fifteen pages. Two hundred books. So that I can post it to two hundred people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I printed fifteen pages. I think. Everything was there, right from my childhood to my degree in pharmacy. What I studied, everything I mentioned there. But I posted hardly some twenty or thirty books. By I started receiving lots of uh, interviews from Bombay or Delhi, Madras, and all. Three interviews I finalized myself, and I went to Bombay. On the first interview, it was like book sales. You need to sell some industrial books like medical books or hospital. This is in the interview. This is in the, for the interview. Okay. So the manager, the HR asked you to sell a book. So uh, when I went, he was asking me to sell books. You should go in Gulf country. It is around forty-five, fifty degrees. You need to go on your own, take a bus, get down, walk half kilometer, and you'll find one institution. You need to sell books there. Then I said, okay, okay, I will let you know tomorrow. Then the salary was two hundred real that time. Means that time it was two hundred into around twenty rupees or something like that. I think so. Some two hundred real omani. Okay. Then next day there was one more interview. That interview was hospital equipment. Mm-hmm. Same forty-five, fifty degrees temperature. Go in a bus, no car, nothing. We will just give you transport charges. Actuals we will give you. Again, so some two hundred to fifty. Something like that. Real money. I said, okay, I let you know. But I was keeping it as a substitute, and I wanted to attend the third interview. It was by name Arab Pharmaceuticals. That is a pharmaceutical company which was manufacturing in Jordan. They call it country manager for Oman, Sultanate of Oman. Two and a half years of experience is not enough. Not not uh, eligible. Okay, not eligible. Not eligible. You need minimum three years experience. You shouldn't be married. You should be bachelor. Horrible rules. And people, when I went there, were almost hundreds of people. You know, they came for the interview, hundreds. And the post was only one post. One post. Hundreds of people attended that interview. The eligibility for that interview is you shouldn't be married. Yeah. You were married by then. I was married. Okay. And I then. I had a kid also. You shouldn't have a kid. You have a kid also. <laughs> no, no, married at all. Ah, obviously, no, no married kid. person, no kid also. Three years minimum experience. Minimum three years of experience. None of these things dad had. So uh, ineligible to even apply. Even to apply, but mm. still I applied. But I still received. I don't know how I received. But I received. Maybe that booklet has made miracle. Hmm. Maybe that booklet he sent that was a creative approach. So maybe that manager Man, or HR, HR whoever saw that booklet might have thought this guy is something. Something. He, yeah. he put some effort, effort. into making. A resume. So awesome. he might be interesting. He might be hardworking. See, that is the reason you go that extra mile. That extra effort you put in always counts. And uh, in that covering letter, I wrote to these people because I am coming to Gulf. Already I am working in an area where it is already 45 to 50 degrees in Nizamabad area, Adilabad forest area, and all. I am working, so I can work anywhere in the world. In these temperatures, this is a very strong point I mentioned in my one g- very good selling point. Yeah, that's how you sell yourself. You show your strengths. After going there, interview was going on right from morning and all. And there were hundred people who applied to this interview who were the most eligible ones. And they were who were not married. Most- Companies. who are not married who yeah, are experienced people. the proper eligible mm. ones who had more than 3 years of experience 5 years 7 years 10 years experience people mm. uh, smart looking from bombay all over india smart high weight personal thing yeah, all this matter when you are a sales person personality <laughs> your face all that because you present things right you have to make a sale and unfortunately that works when you look in a certain way you look impressive then people like to buy from you there's a research for this when you have a good personality it is not that say ram uncle chari uncle they're all short fellows no doubt they made billion millions billions <laughs> that doesn't come into the making money and all but always in certain areas personality and yeah obviously thing. it is like if you want to sell let's say whey protein you can't look weak you have mm. to look muscular and then you can say please buy the protein powder if you're looking weak it'll be like first you put it in yourself <laughs> like hook or crook i use some 
uh, techniques always you know for getting a seat for my daughter i went and like sastranga namaskara i did to that uh, headmistress of sentan school mm-hmm. immediately she sent everybody away and gave me the seat mm-hmm. <laughs> sometimes you need this is you know a technique where you need to fall sometimes and also raise sometimes so it is very very important this tricks are no ego uh, what you call no places where you need to have ego you need to have you need to places where you have to give away your ego you have to give away that is the secret behind lot of successful people i feel yeah exactly in that that way mr venkatram he was from madras who was interviewing me for this post only one post then i put this word like you know sir even in my house there is one venkatram for last 5 years he is my tenant sir he is also from madras tamil nadu sir yanga engalu kuda konjam varu sir tamil i put all that <laughs> masala so he did not ask anything this is called psychological dealing so he was really impressed and i said sir you give me this job sir i i will serve you throughout my life sir and he was really impressed with all my wordings and uh, to be successful once again you need not do not uh, if it comes through your heart be trustful be loyal they should get the feeling you need to connect like that you can get anything done in the world just be real that's real don't fake what don't you're fake not it. don't show it show the originality yeah i used that trick but that was natural and uh, i mean he didn't plan all this no no nothing he didn't plan that he'll go and say this thing that came out that time naturally from him originally it came out from him and he said it yeah whatever he felt at that moment so being original is important so th- i learned three things now first thing is being creative showing like that extra effort the extra mile you took to attend the interview second thing is giving a shot it doesn't matter if there are like 100 good people in the room if you think if you believe in yourself you have to give it a shot because miracles happen like what happened to him third thing is be original yeah be original be original be trustful be loyal like you know that will come later you can connect to people you know with your smile and you show the trustfulness people can easily read you know most of the people with experience they can easily read the opposite especially person. people who are running the company or yeah, trying exactly. to interview they know they know some psychological things they are faking around they can easily catch you That's so it. be original be original. and be loyal so these three things i think helped him get that job da i got that job they will say okay we'll let you know but after one week or so i received one telegram please come and meet our agent in bombay with your passport and that's it i was there almost for 8 or 10 years and yeah, i did uh, my schooling there actually till second class i was in gulf once again sriman told papa whatever is there tell exactly if i mm. tell all these things na even this producer can't produce those pictures so <laughs> many virginity things we have done <laughs> in college everywhere even in gulf country muscat went there i never worked there first or second month eyes and ears open got some idea yes target was there do 1 million dollar i picked some people i used to get very huge amount that time that time itself half of the salary i used to give as a commission to these four people i used to tell quarter 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 million you have to get me job done they used to go and work for me i used to relax take this fellow to garden every day <laughs> oh so you employed your own people there exactly so you got a job so he would make let's say 30 40000 rupees and he would take out 15000 rupees out of it and he employed another four people there i used to get 70 that day 70000 is one, like two acres at least now. Seventy thousand rupees Ooh. in nineties is like inflation adjusted. It will be today that seven lakhs. That time, Shamirpet was only thirty thousand acre. Thirty thousand per acre in Shamirpet. No. Close to seven eight yeah, crores per acre. Ten. So seventy thousand rupees per month salary in eighties is like crazy good amount. Thirty thousand he used to give. Thirty thousand he would give away just to employ other four people who would work so under him. So that I can ha- relax with family, enjoy that's with family. That's called smart working. Smart working. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, because I need to go around now. So hundreds of thousands of kilometers. So I say. said no this is easiest way to survive i mean for such a i mean if you want all the money 70000 rupees mm-hmm. you would take it but you will struggle so much this is where you should make a decision whether you want to work that hard or you enjoy. want to enjoy a little bit have that balance and maybe delegate that work to someone else who can do it all the physical work yeah hmm. uh, already they are doing for their own sake they are going in different areas so they will just pick up my orders and come Hmm. and they get the commission please. okay this is the job part yeah. but about life part you said you had some stories to tell about one day you felt depressed oh that was very young age maybe there was some garshan some problem because we were all uh, united family around 15 members we were staying so there was some problem they shouted at me they threatened me they told me you are fit for nothing fellow and i was totally depressed to be very frank i said i am going 
I am dying today and I am attempting suicide. So I went and sat near the railway station. I was sitting there like that. Then I was thinking, thinking, why you should do this? This is not good. Brave people should not do like this. What is there? From here I will go and live somewhere. I will make 100 rupees per month. That is enough. Because those days, 3 rupees per day is more than sufficient to survive. Like you get full meals, you get biryani, alpha, gilfa, everything, biscuit, biscuit, bun, gin and all. So 100 rupees is enough. So that day idea came. From here I will not attempt any suicide. Then I will go and be independent in 8th class. I means I was 13 or 14 years age. That thought came. I can survive 100 rupees now. But future, I will be king. I will do something. That was my confidence. But in between, because of my uncle, police is there, na. They caught me and brought me back to home. My mother, my father, they were all crying and they have taken me. When he was in 8th class, he ran away from home. Yeah. For how many days? No, not days. Actually, oh, only morning one night. Event. Only one night. Actually, to take, out, take his life. Mm. Evening, afternoon to night. So, he went to attempt suicide actually. Ah, train station I was sitting. He was sitting at Malgaji. train station. Malgaji ah. railway station he was sitting to attempt suicide. I mean, we, this is all filtered a lot. This is not the actual story. Because uh, he is not comfortable revealing everything. Because it is going to be very raw. Which is like Arjun Reddy animal movie are all like... They are nothing. They are actually. nothing. I don't think that's a very good thing for you people as well. Because you might get influenced. It's a very bad thing that has happened. And he did a lot of... Uh, politics and all. Politics and... We were having tough life with the uh, communist nexalites and uh, we were act- actually utilized by top politicians ministers and all at least a like dozen we're, talk- we're talking wars yeah at least a dozen gang of wars class, next level gang friends, wars yeah, gang war. so mm-hmm. all that history is also there with that yeah, and he was a, leading it once again he was a leader right mm, at least one dozen of my contemporaries or uh, my friends died uh, in all this they were murdered actually Mm, so these are like deep dark well, stories I, I was attempted at least a dozen times i was to be killed you dad was to be killed a couple of times couple at of least times. a dozen times a dozen always times. in varangal always in varangal yeah, so many attacks varangal. happened on dad yeah so exactly. many so many attacks so those stories that uh, is I mean, that is not going to help you people in any way, but uh, that has made him like a wood. We didn't have all these things in our lives because our lifestyles were different. That is why we are a little bit soft, but these people were very ruthless. And it is not self-made actually, because of innocence. Maybe that is adolescent age or something like that. Basically, no know. guidance. Now I have gu- guidance. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If I was also left out like that. People were exploiting us actually. Politicians hmm. and leaders, uh, top people, they were exploiting students like us and we used to be in front and make agitations, uh, maramari groups, mm. everything you know you can see in that uh, movies like student uh, maramari and all. All that movies you see, Ram Gopal Verma movies and all that, that's nothing compared to what really happened. <laughs> I nothing. know the stories, dad's friends told me a lot of stories, they're like very violent. People, one full hostel of two, three hundred people will come with uh, knives, uh, thalwar, uh, sticks, uh, rods to attack another hostel and you just imagine what will happen that i can't tell you that uh, no we are telling all this so that you people understand where did he come from from the ground level yeah but that is not right is what we want to tell that is not right at all in I case you people are into all that just you, avoid that if he would still continue that he would either be killed or second thing he might Top be doing most mafia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is not a good thing, right? <laughs> Finally, this is not because of our... I mean, there is no mentor, we were exploited and we don't know what we are doing. This is just happened. This just happened and we realized after a certain time and said, no, this is not our cup of coffee. So after that uh, graduation, we jumped into family life, then jobs and the investments. So when you were like all this rowdy and all that, how did you get mom? How did she think you are the right person to marry? Because all the things I heard about you in your college time or whenever, you got married at what, 24? Yeah, 24 24 years years of age. age. How did mom or their family think you are the right person to get married to? It was a love marriage firstly. It happened that simple because like any movie, even I think recently I have seen some movie also where both uh, lovers are really adamant and they will go to any extent. That's it. Families, they have understood it is better we get this fellow get married there were uh, oppositions from uh, my wife's side that is a big gunda don't go don't marry him he is a drunkard he is a smoker all these things <laughs> nothing is there now but this all happened it's all destination once again i remember my uncle telling me that even on his marriage day the day he got married day one he just got married with all that uh, dhoti viti he came home and that day itself 
fought like 10 people almost 12 well, uh, doesn't maybe doesn't he hit 10 or 12 people who came to attack him <laughs> on the marriage day night <laughs> uh, actually see i was never a rowdy like you know I, unnecessarily i never entered not like that chiller rowdy he, he would not take injustice ah, he, if it. he didn't like something and someone's doing something wrong then he will he will be there i will go to sa- any extent hmm. like you know never i am if there is anyam he can't stand it but why did they attack you on your marriage day <laughs> anything like like that there are so many problems attacks and all it was ganesh chauti somewhere problem happened they used my name i actually i was sitting at home for last one week so they used my name anna ashokanna pampichunu em anukuntara like that and they attacked that for all those ganesh celebrating people they all came at and attacked my house and i was in first floor actually actually he didn't do anything I didn't some do anything. people used my dad's name because he had a good name that time like if they would tell ashok kumar ka log hai then no one would go near them so they used dad's name but then that was a wrong way they used it those people thought he did something and they came to attack him even at at this age last week my neighbor they had some problem somewhere and they told ashoka na sent what i can do <laughs> <laughs> they are the owners of that they have big building whenever they have some problem with the tenant they will tell i will call ashoka na just helping nature that's all but i never did any gundaism or something if somebody comes mera problem hai mera bhain ko koi chhed raha hai then i will go i would have gone there and attacked them if some in politics if some opposition comes and do some wrong things then we used to daringly go and attack so like that it happened but never you know go and do some filthy things and take advantage no we just to show used... heroism he wouldn't do that no no never. not that it's only for justice you know mm-hmm. that's all no, if it was all bad things we wouldn't talk about it on camera like this because never. he did it for justice and good things only we are openly able to say it confidently also i have to reveal one more thing that he was a chain smoker that time once again no guidance 77 to 88 10 years he was a chain smoker like not one after the other but two or three in cigarettes. 30 to 40 cigarettes in a day daniel proper arjun reddy ka baap daniel cigarette daniel cigarettes and <laughs> the best of all types of liquor tasted all types of liquor arak virak body gidi kalu compound everything but <laughs> did that change anything about him now in his success no the thing is you have to realize at the moment at a point in your life that that is not the right thing and don't go, get into addiction he didn't get into addiction Never yes he was addicted that time having 30 40 cigarettes is definitely addiction but the moment i was born that day he stopped it because he thought it will come to me i yeah. will start seeing all that and i get inspired and do Addicted, that yeah. so the day i was born like people say right it's very difficult to stop uh, smoking i have my friends who is listening now they can't stop smoking but it is possible if you have that mental setup you should have a very will power you should have a crazy good will power if you have that will power you can achieve so many things he could stop cigarettes like like a switch yeah. he switched off like one day morning he got up and switched off next day onwards he stopped like a person having 30 to 40 cigarettes every day and one day just switching it off and never touching a cigarette till date that's marvelous so the will power counts if you want to do something you can see my tummy was around 47 or today it is only 40 i think so mm. it is all will power i said i now we are growing up i mean age Uh, factor is there so you need very good health so i put lot of efforts eating right food no junk food eating nature food uh, fruits vegetables mm. or something you know which is very uh, readily available from agriculture land and all certain foods are very important whatever our uh, people used to eat since hundreds of thousands of years if we eat that our body will be very happy and it will cooperate with your health also no health is everything now in your 60 years of age he yeah, doesn't look like sure, that yeah. but he works out he takes care of diet he self conscious his body conscious his beauty conscious all these things are important you can't just live like a pig he takes care of himself that is the reason he looks like good at this age so in the 60 plus years of age if you had a chance like someone came today and said i'll make you 20 years of age mm-hmm. what will you do different not much of a difference but uh, i wouldn't have wasted my time i would have uh, definitely every year maybe two or three trips i would have gone around uh, india or uh, around the world that is what i am missing now uh, but, but even now you are going uh, that's see this is a fag end we call it no like this is fag uh, now we are at the fag end 
So if we would have had a full, now we would have enjoyed full. Like you know, if you would have taken me 20, 30 years back, that time what would I have done is I would have spent maximum time uh, enjoying. Uh, like you know, you have done already uh, hundreds of thousands of kilometers uh, like that. Yeah, traveling. Yes, yeah, so traveling. You want to travel? I would have traveled. Uh, I would have ventured into different uh, areas, you know, worldwide. Already I have seen uh, America or Canada, uh, thousands of kilometers, uh, almost all India, Jordan, Israel. everything almost we have covered but this moment at 60th year after 60 plus i was always every day i think you know i would have enjoyed a lot traveling around and venturing and discovering india and world also that's only thing i am missing that's all money and all is secondary that comes when you have smart mind definitely you can make money that is very simple like right time right thinking you can definitely make money if you go back to your 20s if you are given a chance to become 20 now in terms of money you wouldn't change anything Nothing. what you done you feel is right in Perfect. your life any regrets you have in your life idi cheyakunna undalsindhi in life lo atla no no regrets every day i am happy right from that day till today sometimes uh, some problems were there too much like you know when in the politics and all i thadi par complete unions and all they were against me so i have to be in some village for one month two months missing my classes and that is one regret that's all nothing no regrets at all every day is the happiest day even till today I really enjoy life every second I enjoy life I listen music 2 hours a day I watch serials with my wife for 2 3 hours I jog I go to gym I play with my granddaughters whenever I come here or whenever I go to Canada for 6 months I enjoy with my people there spend with families uh, spend with my friends who are uh, did you never years. feel did you never feel like like you have some friends bil- billionaire friends yeah did you never feel like you would want to make money like them and have success like them in terms of finance success again is different for everyone mm. but i'm talking about financial success they have they made billions don't yeah. you always feel i should have been like them never i feel like that that is the stupidest thing we can call it is really idiotic thing even my billionaire friends even i can call now and put on speaker they will tell anna jina hai to aapke jaisa if we want to live we want to live like ashoka because so these billionaires they are always traveling from country to country to country almost 30 40 countries they have piles they have hundreds of thousands of problems health issues <laughs> health issues because psychological problems play pressures no peace always problems and all of them look na- nothing against them but this they, is this is they real they look like 80 90 they look like 80 90 and back problems <laughs> and i mean i will have back problem but they look old they look worn out their eyes are like worn out the their brain is worn out the brain is worn out no so peace. obviously when you're making lot of money and you're, if you're running behind a lot money. of money you go through a lot of stress. stress your body is under so much of stress you'll have heart problems you'll have skin problems i've seen people having skin problems because of stress i mean it is up to you to decide whether you want to trade your health for a billion dollars if you're ready for that go ahead i'm not discouraging you not to make money but you should decide a point yeah after returning from gulf i was having the mitsubishi lancer during those days in the first year itself in 80s after that these people they were all my ch- children both children they were born in that car they were born in acs they were born in our luxury areas not like me uh, going with paya and all <laughs> after returning india because of certain conditions i was transferred to some yemen and all which i did not like that was war torn area so i returned to india for good when i came back to india you should you can see it's so horrible situation here i just came with some money no doubt i told you already some money was there. with that few lakhs i have to take care of my family their education my rent i i own a house there but still i have to rent a house because it was crowded stayed very near to my parents place only there we used to take care of our own uh, this one expenses so there my second inning started for earnings i don't know what to do but 6 months i suffered on a scooter i was traveling in hot sun in hyderabad one of my uncle was a manufacturer keeping all aside i went to him and sat with him i want to sell your product then he was a railway topmost contractor going on foot taking somebody's vehicle after enjoying all that luxury life in oman with mitsubishi lancer he started but he came down to this but it was okay because i told you 
you right it's a trade off you either have money or you have happiness you can have both but then it takes some time you'll have to plan it so he came back to india and he got into a job with someone what happened is uh, i tried with that person you know engineer who was having a factory and all that doesn't suit me i did not like that area so i said i'll go back to some job once again in pharmaceutical so i applied dr reddy's lab very famous so immediately within one week i got a job there as a production manager product manager it is called i need mm. to train all the sales people medical reps and managers for fsms and all i used to train them so there i used to work for 6 months i worked then i said this is not my place mm. slogging again in the same job or something so i want to do something there last 5th uh, month or so i started thinking in uh, trading areas uh, stock trading stock no not stock trading goods trading good like trading. Uh, buying and selling okay or uh, contracting uh, railway contracts and police uh, additional ig dg uh, top most people are there our our relatives so during that time i approached them then they said okay we will help you you can trade they put into controller of stores it is called stores division hmm. registration was done with the depart police department once again railway department is tough to get in because you need to have minimum 10 years of experience in trading you need to have big stores you need to have turnover it all this thing. one more tip i will tell you very you know need smart thinking so what did i do i approached one mp dr y s rajeshwar reddy sir through some links links play very important in life only links will take you to top level then i approached y s r sir then he issued small certificate i think i have that that was given to general manager railways i went directly to general manager i told sir mp sir bijaya then he has sent a controller of stores vv reddy vv reddy sir he took and he threw that into dustbin hey sab chalta hai nahi hota he is a irs officer then i went back to why <laughs> sir why sir why sir sir spoke to general manager gave him left and right <laughs> then the man a vv reddy sir came to my house with the certificate <laughs> <laughs> yeah you need to use, use power where you, you need, need to you need to use links power to get to the top that's it i got registered i caught hold of some top most traders i called them my home i used some influence and started trading everything i do from my home itself i used to invest money they used to go and get and get contracts from here onwards i remember like yes. doing railway contracts and all that contracts. from there he made his money little by little yes, and right. the main thing i have observed is he was very good at saving, saving he never yes. spent on useless things never even today he doesn't need a 80 inch tv or 16 inch tv if it's like visible that's enough he is satisfied with what he has i am never satisfied with whatever i have I even if it's it. like 80 inches i need 90 inches next we all are like that this generation but our fathers and all they are different and that help them accumulate so much of wealth i feel yeah content that you need to be content you need to be satisfied happy. with what you have we are never happy yeah. we always want something more then you will have a problem you will have health problem tension pressure problem so you want to always problem. excel 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 it's good to have that in your mind to excel but you shouldn't stress yourself so much it will cost that your health it will cost your health not that much peace also mm. and mm. family life everything will be affected mm. if you are greedy if you don't plan if you are not balanced it will really create problems for future complete future Hmm. you need to have balanced life whatever i used to get money i used to go and invest in shares mutual funds and all they grew a lot so whatever money he made not only saved but like i said he invested it this is what i learned earn save and invest esi but the problem is that time investments were different compared to now because now we have more knowledge about how to invest he would invest everything yeah. only saving and investing no expenses on anything else in life except food and all that Yeah. but now we have formulas like it's not always about investing completely whatever you earn people are you shouldn't invest completely 100% i feel you should enjoy your life as well little bit so i follow that 50 30 20 rule where 50% you spend on your expenses 30% is for your wants which is you can buy anything you want they wouldn't do that in that generation if you don't do that <coughs> then you're losing out so many things that you have to enjoy in that particular moment of your age let's say you're in 25 and you're saving everything and not enjoying anything not buying clothes not buying shoes for yourself i think that's a wrong approach traveling traveling so 30% Hobbies. you have to keep aside for yourself to enjoy it because you don't know when you're going to die yeah. <laughs> especially in this generation because of stress or corona or whatever yeah. anything can happen so it's better to also enjoy yourself that is the reason keep 30% for yourself out of your earnings 50% use it for your expenses and 20% remaining you should 
invest they would invest 100% not 100 80% 80% yeah. 20% obviously you need expenses so, uh, right, right to running the house but apart from this they wouldn't enjoy anything else that's what i have seen only the tirupati or shirdi that's it my whole life they took me only to tirupati shirdi that was our <laughs> traveling experience now whatever money they made in the last couple of years now they are utilizing it but i feel if you utilized it in that time that as well it would be much better that 20 because yeah. you would be more energetic you would have more satisfying. also you are but more and, satisfying yeah now you said right 20 years you have a regret that you did not travel the world yeah. if you would utilize those funds that 20% yeah. you would still not make this much money yeah. what you have today little less but you would have experienced so many good things good by things. then yeah. that is our formula in this generation now but there are people there are kids who are putting like 100% into investments which is not right or putting 80 or 90% into expenses into wants that is also not right you should be balanced and especially i could do all these things because i have lot of backing i have my dad whatever happens i have that backing and that is the reason i was able to take these steps of becoming a youtuber thinking about out of the way options instead of going for a job if he was not there i wouldn't be able to take all these things that support that moral support that's always there one last a small thing uh, about the investment 20000 i invested in one plot during 80s itself the after few maybe one or two years that went to 1 lakh then i had a uh, another 1 lakh so i invested that 1 lakh i sold that plot and i had 1 lakh extra the i added to this and made this 2 lakh i invested somewhere else in one land in malkajiri after few years gave it for development and there were 16 flats in that of that four flats only they gave me that four flats i sold it for a huge money that huge money was invested elsewhere and that is making huge money that's simple <laughs> initial investment was 20000 plus 1 lakh 1.2 lakhs made into huge money what would you suggest parents like you supported me in becoming a youtuber or whatever i want to do in my life you were like okay you never said don't do this don't do that as long as you enjoy it you do it as long as you make money out of it and you are satisfied of that you do it you said that and that moral support i had yeah but lot of parents don't do that for their kids they want their kids to be in a job or a business or whatever it is parents have their own choices whatever they didn't do in their life they want to rub that on their children is what i feel not everyone but there Absolutely. are many like yeah. that so what would you suggest those kind of parents actually parents should not be adamant and the, they should always be loving they should really see that their children grow in front of them they should not suffer mentally physically and all see whatever is possible what makes them happy if they want to see like when they were in 7th standard or 10th and i told you whatever you want you do i am not going to tell you you do engineering or medicine or something nothing you decide i told i left to them like that parents should leave their children but still you need to keep one eye on them what they are doing or they falling prey with some or are they being exploited by some outsiders are they being keep... influenced by the negative things negative things Pe- parents should keep an eye on their children to certain age only if they fall in love okay no problem call them talk to them if everything is fine if they are if everything is good you put your own agencies and uh, get all the records or uh, whatever it is and if you are happy carry forward get them married i have seen some of my friends making a mistake of not getting married so they have jumped away some left away they have not seen for the last 20 10 20 years they have not seen their children at all so this is not required for a mature parent a loving parent should always see that let them suffer personally but let their children because we our life is fagin let them enjoy life decide for themselves whatever is right and wrong in case of need if they come for an advice then definitely you can advise don't finger into their daily living or daily problems it is their responsibility to take care of their life if at all they come forward for any suggestion help and all put your 100% effort in solving their problem as if it is your own problem this is what i can say but you shouldn't be sitting and suggesting them every day do this do that never don't never do this, don't do that never interfere let in them flow to, let them do what they want they, but you should leave alone let them decide let them suffer let them do whatever they want if at all they come to you for an advice or if you think this is right time to advise then you need to advise every day you need not call them don't interfere over guidance is not over guidance. guide them at till certain right age term, right. because i am also parent now i'm telling this i was eligible to talk about you know parenting but uh, yeah you should give little bit of guidance starting me when they are till a certain age after that you have to leave them like how animal kingdom works i know we are also social animals we work in a different way but usually 
till a certain age you have to guide them after that the animal leaves it in the wild it doesn't go and assist it it doesn't go and help it it is left in the wild they grow up they become hunters that's how it should be even for your kids sometimes in frustration parents do all types of nonsense to their kids most of the time i have seen that's not good you should leave them alone let them decide let them grow on let them become independent and grow this is what i can suggest okay i think we'll end the vlog here it's become too big maybe we'll do an do a different episode when we go to markaj maybe have more things you people ask me in the comment section uh, because this was the first session i think uh, we did not cover everything properly but we just covered whatever we could and this been a very long time since dad also spoke on camera so we couldn't put across a lot of points in a clean way maybe i think when we do this more often we'll do a better vlog that time thank you Hello, thanks. bye bye thanks for watching Thank you.